In this video, I'm going to go through two examples of normalizing vectors. So this first vector is um, three elements. Each one is one. Now, to find its magnitude, and I'm going to start by saying its magnitude squared, we then take this n dagger, which is going to be the transpose and the complex conjugate, and multiply it by itself. Now, in this case, each of these entries is real. So the complex conjugate we don't really need to worry about here. We're just transposing this. And so we get 1, 1, 1 in a row multiplied by our original vector 1, 1, 1 in a column. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, so 3. Now notice that this is the magnitude squared. So if we want to have the normalized vector, so a vector that has a length 1, that's going to be 1 over just the, the magnitude, and in this case that's going to be square root of 3 times the original uh, vector. So in this case, this is going to be 1 over the square root of 3, because the magnitude squared was 3, 1, 1, 1. Some people like distributing this inside. In general, it's better in quantum mechanics to leave it outside. So now let's do a slightly harder situation. Now we actually have a complex vector, only with two entries. So the first thing let's do is actually write down what a dagger is. And a dagger is going to be transposed, so it's going to be, instead of a column, it's going to be a vector. And this first entry stays on the left. And we need to make it the complex conjugate. So the complex conjugate of i is negative i. The complex conjugate of negative i is i. So now, when I say a dagger times a, this looks like negative i, i, times i negative i. And so, again, we go row, column, we expect one entry. We first have negative i times i, and then I have i times negative i. And I've written it out this way so we can be really careful. So i times i is negative 1, and I have another minus sign, so this is 1. i times i is negative 1, I have another minus sign, this is plus 1. So this is 2. So in order to normalize this, if I want my normalized a vector, this is 1 over the square root of 2, i, and negative i. If you wanted to, you could write this as i over the square root of 2, and then what we have left on the inside is 1 and negative 1. So this is the basic idea of normalizing these vectors. We just need to find what their length is, and then we pull that out. And remember that we always need to take into account that complex conjugate when we do that transpose. 